everyone, welcome to the special community questions and answers video. This is the last video of the year, so I thought it would be cool to actually do a little bit of, uh, yeah, a Q&A. Most of the questions revolve around the whole, and the most one that I get is, why am I doing this? So, I want to give you a little bit of story. Uh, you see, some time ago, uh, well, uh, during the basically the beginning of last year, I said that if I reached a thousand subscribers, I would do a thousand by thousand all from the surface into bedrock. And I, I, I got a thousand subscribers and I started this crazy massive project. Now, with the time, I don't know why, but I enjoyed so much mining the entire world that I just essentially decided to just keep this going. So uh, that's the story and that's why I'm doing that. I, I really enjoy doing it and I want to really try and go and mine the entire world. The next question is why it is the natural looking and I think that the question is why do I do those slopes? Um, I don't know, it's a, it's a little bit because I, I kind of enjoyed doing it and I, I think that the effect that uh, those stairs do, it's it's really cool and crazy, but but you guys are, are able to challenge that. If you guys actually think that I should mine chunk by chunk or something else, I, I'm up to it. I, I just think that it's more funny. Uh, to do it like this, so that's uh, why I do it, but uh, yeah, uh, leave me down in the comments down below if you prefer it in another way, I don't know, just, just let me know. Now, another question that I get is, uh, what is the intended area that I plan to mine? So, there is no intended area, I really plan to keep mining until the, 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 well, the map crashes or I cannot just do it any longer, so there is no limit. My idea is first and foremost to do the thousand by thousand all. So, uh, what we started to do is we go to the coordinates where the 500 would be, so a little bit like there, I do a huge wall, and then to that side, that side, and the other side, and I just do a huge a thousand by thousand all from the surface into bedrock, which was the initial idea. After that, I, I, I'm just going to keep going, because, uh, yeah, uh, why not? Just why not? Another question that I get a lot is what will I do once I reach bedrock? Well, to be honest, it will not really make a huge difference. Once I reach bedrock, I will simply widen the hole more and more and more until there is just a huge wasteland of bedrock in the world. I really hope that you can mine something really, really crazy, but this actually takes a while. So I, I don't know how much I can actually do overall in, by the end of the project, but well, once I reach bedrock, it's, it's very clear what I need to do. I just need to go and mine in another area. And to finalize questions actually about the hole, do I ever plan to make a building on the huge space that I am mining? And the answer to that is yes, there will be one single mega build in the center of the thousand by thousand hole close to spawn. Spawn, by the way, is more or less where that beacon is. You go through that slopes and it's really in that side. So once I reach the bedrock layer in the thousand by thousand hole, I will do a single mega base to hold all of my possessions. So yes, there will be one single massive building. Now, Time to sleep and to tackle the final questions. Another question is how often do I repair my tools? Well, that's a simple one. I do repair my tools once they are in the breaking point. I am mostly using the silk touch ones to get the stone and this one for the ores. And essentially every hour and a half or so I do come here and I do repair my tools. How do I repair my tools? I have a couple of ways. First and foremost, I have these furnaces running and I am still smelting from the huge pile of force. And then I pick up the stone, granite, and the site and stuff like that and I use my army of masons. This provide me enough experience to fully repair my tools. It took me around 10 minutes to repair my tools and one of a half hours of mining. So more or less 10 minutes per hour and a half to two hours. It really depends on how much I use the tools, but that is more or less the 
Yeah, more or less the timings. And then, in the following, what do I do with the stone? Do I do anything or do I just incinerate it? Well, well, well the, the answer is it's all in this <laughs> monstrosity over here. So, in these chests I have basically my uh, possessions. So, in here is the diamond and emeralds, in here is the lapis and redstone, and in these two is gold, iron, copper and coal. I do have already a couple of chests with coal, a couple of chests with copper, uh, this one is the iron and gold, this is all of the gold that I have, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, the gold uh, so far has not been my thing. Then uh, in here I do have uh, wood, a, a lot of wood, most of the, this wood also came from the woodland mansion, uh, then in this one is the dirt and sand and gravel, this one is cobblestone, stone, this will be at some point the deep slate and uh, this one is the miscellaneous, meaning the, yeah, the turf, the diorite and the site, those type of things. I do store everything and uh, the stone and the granite, diorite and other sites especially it's very important for me to store because right now I use them to repair the tools with the masons but at some point I will be at the deep slate level and I cannot use the deep slate to do the trades so I need to have a huge storage of stone in order to be able to do it and uh, yeah the, the, this is basically what I do if we look with a little bit of an angle you can see that I have already a lot of stone and probably I'm going to use one of those stores just to hold all of the stone because at this point just why not and yeah the, this is what I do with the stuff that I collect and to really 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 finalize the Q&A one person asked me what do I do for a living that I can play so much time Minecraft? And the answer is, I don't play that much Minecraft. <laughs> so, I would like very much at one day to be able to be a YouTuber really and uh, spend my entire life doing this crazy and stupid project. Because why not wasting my life doing it? Currently, I am a software engineer, I have a 9 to 5 job. The thing is that I don't sleep that much. Uh, to be honest, around five to six hours per day and I am golden, I'm really good, I don't need to sleep that much and I am very good at managing my time, that's why I can mine so much, it's not because my job allows me, it's just a combination between me not sleeping too much and uh, being very good with the time that I have, so yeah, that's, but, but, but well, wait, wait, uh, let's uh, go back, what do I do for a living? I am a software engineer, that's the answer you want. And with all of this said, thank you so much for submitting your questions and a special thank you to the ones that submitted them. I really hope that you guys are enjoying this project. I, I, I know that it sounds so stupid and crazy and uh, believe me, I, it is stupid and crazy, but I don't know why, I just enjoy so much doing it. Thank you so much to all of you that actually support the project and uh, the channel and and me in the end. <laughs> I, I really thank you all and uh, yeah, I, this was the Q&A. I will do more if you guys have more questions and at some point I find relevant. But for now, I wish you a happy 2024. I do hope that you had a wonderful time during the holidays and I see you on the next year and on the next one.